I always said since I was a little old kid, that someday that's what I was going to end up doing, making liquor and hauling it. And when I got old enough and got got me a little old seal made, well, I'd done just what I said I was going to do. What was your first still and your first setup? Well, the first still I ever owned, it held one barrel, which was 50 gallon. I didn't have no money to buy no still with. <clears throat> so I went to an old man, his name was Nick Price, he's a damn good fella. And I told him I wanted to make me a little liquor and I didn't have no pot. He said, well, you know, Nick always had a little money. He loaned me enough money to buy the copper and the sorter with. So I took the copper to Junior Valentine, a man over on Cosby. He's been, he's been dead now, I guess, 20 some years. But he made me a little old pot. I forget what it cost to have it made back then. It wasn't near what it would cost now. But uh, I got that little old barrel pot, and I took it back on Snowbird Mountain, and I made liquor. I just had up two barrels of beer. That's all I could afford to keep up, buy sugar and stuff for her. And that's how I got my first steal. I borrowed the money and paid it back with liquor. I paid Nick back with liquor. Every time I'd make a run, I'd pay him a gallon on what I owed him, which I only got $6 for a whole damn gallon. <clears throat> Seems like it took me forever to pay him what I owed him, but I paid him right to the last penny. And, uh, I'd give him one gallon on my debt, and then I'd sell him the other five. He'd pay me cash. Well, I'd go buy my stuff back to put it back with, and then I'd have a little money left to buy me some groceries. And back then I was renting. It only cost $10 a month for the old house I was renting. And uh, anyway, I got up to four barrels. Well, I had a big operation, I thought. I was making a little more money and every time, you know, and I kept getting bigger and bigger. And uh, anyway, I had an old 46 model Willis Jeep, and they had a pinhole deep in the gas tank. It was under the driver's seat. And uh, I'd pour a gallon of gas in it that morning when I left Cosby, and it'd take me all the way to the top of Snowbird Mountain, that one gallon would. All right, I always kept me another gallon in the back of it so I could pour it in that evening when I headed off to Snowbird to get back to Cosby again. <clears throat> so I happened to look. Damn, I'd forgot to set my gallon of gas in there. And I hadn't tempered the liquor. I just set it in the Jeep, and I had it numbered like that. The jugs, I had it in gallon glass jugs, and I had them numbered. Number two is your highest jug, and number three. Number one's got a little bit of condensation in it out of the worm, but two and three is kick-ass liquor, I shot. I poured that number two jug in there. No the Jeep wouldn't start, no way. It didn't have no compression in the motor. You always had to roll it off the start. You had to park it on a hill or you wasn't gonna start it. I poured, I just had to pour that gallon of shots in there. I pushed it off, but damn, you couldn't see it for the blue smoke. Uh, but I'm, like I said before, I poured the shots in it. I met old man Nick Price coming up the mountain in that four-wheel drive Ford truck. He's just a flying. He popped corn and big logs down yonder at Play Masters' house. He said, hey, you better turn around and go back backside of Snowbird. I said, hell, I ain't got no gas. I run out of gas. Well, he said, let's see if we can cypher some ice truck. I had a hose laying in the back of the old Jeep. We couldn't get that hose to fit in that truck gas tank. It made it wouldn't go in some way. So I told him, I said, well, that's when I poured the shots to it. I said, I'll make a damn thing run. I poured them shots out in there and fired it off. You couldn't see it for blue smoke. I backed it up in the woods, turned around, went across the backside of Snowbird by the tire and down the mountain, come out on Gracie Port and went on to Cosby with my liquor and everything else. 